when you're a little kid looking up in the sky, you never think that, you know, you're going to send something to another planet. And so the fact that I get to do that, I just think is really exciting. Honeybee Robotics is a small company that mostly focuses on contract work for NASA. We produce the rock abrasion tool, which is currently on the Mars rover Spirit and Opportunity. It is a tool that's on the end of the rover's arm, and to prepare the rock surface for spectrometers and for other instruments to go and look at what the soil is made of, it grinds down a few millimeters and clears away dust and we also did some work on Phoenix, which is a recent Mars lander. And that also, you know, functioned very well on Mars. So we're hoping to get more into outer space someday. My role at Honeybee Robotics is a project engineer. And what that means is that I get to work on a bunch of different projects and kind of have a different role in everything that I do. So sometimes I've done mechanical design. Other times I've done analysis or testing. And it really runs the gamut from anything in the mechanical design process. The most exciting part of my job is when I get to kind of take a step back from everything and think about the fact that I work on things that are going to Mars or that are already on Mars or that might go to the moon someday and sending stuff to other planets, that's pretty sexy. I think my first memory of being interested in science is from when I was a little kid and I used to wake up early in the morning so I could go watch Mr. Wizard on TV and it was this TV show, he was kind of the predecessor to Bill Nye and he would have kids on and they would do all these science experiments and to this day I remember a lot of the experiments and I remember thinking they were just the greatest things ever. The best science experiment I remember seeing was in a physics class in college where we were learning about electromagnetism and the professor took a coil and it was generating so much heat that he was able to fry an egg on top of it. Uh, my favorite science class in high school was definitely physics. Actually, not just science, it was my favorite class in general. The teacher was really great, and in addition to all the theory and all the equations that we had to do day to day, he also had us do a lot of experiments on the side, so we did an egg drop experiment um, once we built mousetrap cars and just little things like that where you got to you know, do something hands-on. My favorite science word is probably sublimation. Uh, which is when something goes directly from a solid phase to a gas phase without melting into a liquid first. Um, I just think the word sublimation sounds really cool, like something a spy would do. There are definitely not a lot of women in my office, and there haven't been a lot of women around since I decided I wanted to do engineering, but it's something that I've gotten used to, had to adjust to it, and if anything, I think I've formed closer relationships with the women who are around. My only advice to someone who wants to be in science is to really stick with it and if that's what you're interested in, especially as a girl, you have to just ignore any stereotypes, ignore people who say girls can't be good at math, girls can't be good at science, because they absolutely can. <laughs>